Hey guys, let's take a look at quadratic inequalities, which is this, this time we're going to be less than. Now before we did um, inequalities, we graphed them, where we said we're going to graph the, you know, the two numbers sets that they're going to be greater than zero. And we, we went back and we said, okay, what kind of two numbers multiplied together are going to give us greater than zero? In other words, positive. So we said well, they're either going to be both negative or both positive. They have to be one or the other. So we graphed those, and we figured out the answers, and we, we graphed them. Now we're going to do less than. So the question is, look at this question. We have two numbers that are multiplied, and the product is less than zero, in other words, negative. What are the two possibilities? Well, either you have two numbers, and this one is negative, and this one is positive, or this one is positive, and this one is negative. And that's what we're going to set these equal to in just a second here. So it's a real short lesson, so let's take a look. If you need to pause and copy, go ahead and do that. And uh, we're going to graph this. In other words, this is what we're graphing first right here on the number line. Okay? We have this times this, and it's less than zero. In other words, it's negative. So we have two possibilities. Either this is positive and this is negative, or we have this is negative and this is positive. So, in other words, this part here can be negative. In other words, less than zero. And this part here has to be positive. In other words, greater than zero. So a negative times a positive is a negative. And also, we can do the opposite. A positive and times a negative is also equal to a negative. So let's take a look what happens. So we have two possibilities. This over here and then this over here. So if x plus 2 is less than zero, and that's going to be x is less than negative 2, Make sure you have an and there. It has to be both be true. All right? The next is going to be greater than over there. That's going to be positive 3. Now, you tell me the numbers. Which numbers are less than negative 2 and also greater than 3? Can you think of any? Because I can't. Okay, there aren't any, right? I mean, you can't have a number that's less than negative 2 and at the same time greater than 3. So there's no solution to this. There's nothing to graph. So we'll look at the other one and go, well, let's try this one. We have x is going to be greater than negative 2. And x is going to be less than 3. Now we can think of ones for that one, right? Well, if it's greater than negative 2, well, it can't include negative 2, so it'll have an open circle. And it's less than 3, which we won't include that. And what are we allowed to use here? Reals? Okay, so it's everything in between there. And that's what your graph's going to look like. And there you go. That's the solution to it. And the key is to go and. It has to be true for both of those. So you're usually going to find one of these that works and one doesn't work. All right? Let's try another one. If you need to pause and copy, go ahead and do that. All right, let's take a look. You have this. What is this? How are you going to do this? Well, notice it's a trinomial. And notice that it is factorable. Because you can go, okay, which two numbers... Multiply, give me negative 8, and add to give me positive 2. Well, here are the numbers. You can figure these out pretty quickly. Of course, x and x. I'm going to add to a 2. That's a positive 4. And then I'm going to multiply, give me... Okay, there we go. Okay, and that's going to be equal to 0. All right? Now, we have two possibilities. A positive and a negative multiplied gives you a negative here, which are less than 0, or a negative and a positive. So we have two chunks here. We have x plus 4 is, we could say, greater than 0, or positive, and x minus 2 is less than 0. That's one possibility, right? Or we could say x plus 4 is less than 0, and x minus 2 is greater than 0. Let's check them out one at a time here. All right, well, first... Let's go ahead and, you know, solve the inequality here. That goes over. X is greater than negative 4. Don't forget the and. It has to be and. And X is less than 2. Now, can you think of numbers that are greater than negative 4 and less than 2? Yeah, I mean, they're there, right? We're allowed to use integers. So if it's greater than negative 4 and it's an integer, there's a negative 3, there's a negative 2, there's a negative 1, there's a 0, less than 2, so it cannot include 2. So that's it. That's all we have. All right. There we go. 
And the other possibility, well, let's check it out. X is going to be less than negative 4, and X will be greater than 2. Well, which numbers are less than negative 4 and greater than 2? There ain't any. Okay, so I, I should say there ain't none. Okay, so there's nothing to this one at all. Your answer lies right here. And there we go. Okay, all right, try the practice problem. Uh, there's two of them, so try A, pause it, and we'll come back together. Okay, here are the possibilities. X plus 4 is greater than 0, and X minus 1 is less than 0. Or we could have X plus 4 is less than 0, and X minus 1 is greater than 0. Let's try this one first. So you have X uh, is greater than negative 4, and X is less than 1. So can you think of, and we're allowed to use reals here, so anything greater than negative 4 and less than 1? Well, sure, there, there it is right there. Greater than negative 4, less than 1, all the reals is everything in between there. You're probably going to guess what's going to happen in this next one, right? X is less than negative 4, and X is greater than 1. Well, there are no such numbers for that one. So your solution is between negative 4 and positive 1. Okay. All right, pause it and try B. All right, let's factor this first. So we're going to have x minus 5 times x plus 2 is less than 0. We're allowed to use only integers this time. Okay, well, we have two possibilities. Let's go ahead and set them up. Either x minus 5 is greater than 0 and x plus 2 is less than 0, which will make that a positive again, and that's a negative. Okay, the positive times a negative is negative. Or we'll have x minus 5 <coughs> is less than 0, and x plus 2 is greater than 0. Okay, let's try this one first. x is going to be larger than 5, and x is going to be less than negative 2. Ain't going to be working for us. Okay. We'll have x is less than 5, and x is greater than negative 2. We're allowed to use integers. Well, Everything less than 5 and greater than negative 2 with integers. So greater than negative 2 is going to be negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's less than 5. So we quit right there. There is your solution. Okay, that's it. Okay, see you guys next time. Have a good day.